Okay, so my live stream's live as well. Oh, Ghost is up now. Let's see what we got. Don't expect uh, much realism. <laughs> no, no, no. I've uh, just, uh, first of all, I'm going to start by letting the map go itself up. So you can see, you, that way you can independently vet that that is my best attempt at getting it to the, to, <laughs> to the, uh, to the flight plan that's listed. If you you let me know when you're live. When, the, when both of you guys I am live off, according to I this, gotta go so walk my dog. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, BMS does not like live streaming 2D environments, so you might not actually see the map. Uh, hang on a minute, I'll try the... Uh, yeah, right now it's not showing. Right, I'm looking at my live stream I'm and it is showing it. Muscles. It's a little bit behind, but you should see it. Behind. Andy, what's the uh, total distance for this flight? Um, should be able to get it out of the FMS. Uh, 352? Alright, perfect. Yeah, 28 will work. I got 376 miles out of this, apparently. Yeah, that's fine. It's within 20 miles, I think, given the limits of the game engine. Too bad. So, a trip like this, yeah, take you about an hour. That's what it seems to think, anyway. Yeah. She might either have to refuel in the air or something that way. Be interesting to see what the fuel economy is like uh, when this plane thinks it's an F-16, but it handles like a C-17. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the uh, F-16's flickers loses its shit. Okay, um, I'm ready to go into the pit uh, now. The problem I've got, Andy, is that ramp starting a C-17 using an F-16 pit is going to be at best problematic. Mm, I don't know. I think well, it'll that, work. That is, see then, that's fine. Okay, well. Yeah, you, well. You can do either. You can, you can start taxi if you want. I'll Andy's try. I'll tell you what. I'll try start. a ramp start just because it's Andy's doing that. And if it doesn't work, I can divert very quickly to the to the to the taxi, right? Right. right. Yeah, because he's almost the engine start at this point. Okay, I'm ready for my pushback anyway. Go ahead, Andy. I'm uh, running the clock forward to ramp, and my ramp start will take much quicker than yours will, because I'll be abbreviating it. Given that there is no official ramp start procedure for a C-17 inside BMS. I remember when FMS, FMS, FS came out with the virtual cockpit, like when they first had that as an option, and it oh, was yeah, like, mind blown. Oh, this is oh, fucking mind sweet. Yeah. I used to have this, some company made an ATR-42, and it was like a really good one. And a CRJ, that was the other one. Somebody had a really good CRJ cockpit, I remember I used to like that one. Oh yeah, as Andy will show you, the modern day FSX experience these days is scary. Scary. Oh, it's crazy. I'm just watching his interior lighting, and like that alone is really incredible. Oh god, the frame rates. The frame rates are dying. Do I win by default? <laughs> no, no, it's just taking more time to load that song. Alright, I'm in. And apparently the V1 to the left of me. <laughs> well, there's the record showing. I'm in. I'm oh, in a C17. Showing the load, showing the load screen for me. Hold on. I've got the screenshot saved, don't worry. CP1. Dying. I'm doing engine start now. 
Yeah, I'm working through engine start as well, so that should go well. The, the actual pilots in the audience room would can listen and shake their hands. Ah, nice. Although there is no Las Vegas squadron for uh, yeah. the C-17. Realism. What do you think of these engine displays? Oh, uh, they're pretty badass. Um, I fly a Challenger on the civilian side, so it's basically like the same kind of setup you got here. I mean, this is a, a, a pretty um, pretty expensive uh, product that PMGG made here, and it's pretty much exactly the same as flying the real thing. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, comparing it to what I'm used to seeing in the cockpit, yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's kind of mind blowing. It's like, wow, they. Seemingly nowadays, you can actually take your pilot's license and spend a third of it in sim pit if you go for, you know, the proper peripherals and stuff like that now. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty realistic. I mean, all the way down to things like the Peaky GT on the, the, the startup. Like, that's that's about right. Like, all of those uh, engine um, indications are about right. Like, I mean, they're basically, you know, what you would expect to see. It's pretty cool. What I do like about the 777 is, uh, well, if you just look at the stream now, you can see this page where it shows you flight controls. And when you oh, manipulate the controls, you actually see them move on the screen as well. Yeah, yeah, those are badass. Those screens are nice because when you do your flight control checks, otherwise you got to have somebody outside the airplane actually verify. So those pages are, are nice because you can do it all from inside the cockpit. Okay, I will just be right back then while I wait for Ghost. I just gotta go uh, take a piss. You can if you want. I did yeah. see that from the moment we're both pit starting engines up, we're good, but. Well, yeah, just be two seconds anyway. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna walk the dogs. Sure thing. Have fun. Uh, Have fun. That's it. Okay, I return, so are we good to go? Yeah, you may start your run. I'm still in the middle of start-up, but uh, I don't have any trouble with that. That's uh, my problem, not yours. Okay, dokie. You started up ages ago, you, you're entitled to continue your start-up. 
After all, I don't want you losing your clearance. Best of luck, good sir. It's very hard to see these taxiways. Are you taking off yet, the ghost? Uh, I'm just waiting on my INS to line, which it just did, so... I'll be taking it, I'm just going to move the taxi now. Hold on, 270, 100 miles, 25,000. I'm taking the active now. Okay, well I'm taxiing. Angel, 1-1, one, one. ready for departure. Angel, 1, you are outside my airspace, contact me 30 miles out.
Andy, are you able to see my stream, or are you? Would that be too risky? For um, you? I can watch it when I'm not trying to fly the aircraft by myself. Noted. I just wanted to make sure that a the stream. I will is probably working. be able to look. Yeah. Just to make sure that a the stream is working and b that uh, you're seeing us. Oh god! Not paying attention to fucking flying the plane. It's hard oh. to do two pilots' jobs. <laughs> and watch something on YouTube. Uh, no, it's, I got it, it's fine. I'm just gonna grab my iPad and I'll check off that. Well, I'm flying, uh, Ghost Dog. I'm just on the active. How about you? Just on the active now. And I'm very alarmed at how slow this plane goes on when it's rolling. I'm also extremely alarmed as to how quick and slow this thing goes when it's rolling. Are you prepared to drop it yet? I'm worried that this thing's even going to get in the air. Ah, uh, okay, my game just exploded. Oh, what's up? The plane just exploded on the takeaway, on the take, on the on the runway. Oh, did you rotate way too fast? I didn't even. I was at 37 knots. Do you want me to pause and wait? Ah, it's fine. This is part of like this. Take one for the team and uh, carry on the mission. You carry on because this is part of the problem. I have to deal with it. You have lovely, glorious, smooth FSX. I have to deal with EMS and it's shit. So I'll just have to live with it. I'm just gonna make sure I wasn't like rolling with the brakes the whole way or something stupid like that. Is Webb still here? I think he went off to his dog. Uh -huh. He just wanted to wait till we were both in the pit. Right, this time I'm going to accelerate forward to the runway part and see if there's just some sort of breakage that's going to ensue. This doesn't work. What I'll do is I'll let the plane take off with the computer's assistance and uh, join yeah. from there. Because it may just be that the game's just not happy flying this thing flying there.
Yeah, maybe. already sounds a lot more responsive than I'm rolling from the way. Oh for god's sake, there's craters on the runway, no wonder I can't take off. Who the hell cratered Kadena Runway? Well, I'll just take off from the taxiway. Screw it. I figured out why I, could, why I can't take off from Kadena. There's craters on the runway. Oh, uh, <laughs> that might explain it. That would explain a lot. Uh, I'm going to take off from the taxiway. That's fine. You don't even care anymore because you're already miles ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm um, about five miles from top of climb as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ridiculousness. So where's the link to your screen? Let me just bring that up and I'm going to have a look. It's just Twitch.tv oh, stroke postdoc 688. Should, I've already followed you. You're already got to follow so it should show up. Oh yeah, I found you. Took off from the taxiway, now I'm airborne. Whew. No right, mission accomplished. And I'm at 28,000 feet. Cruising at Mach 0.56. No, sorry, point seven seven four. Warning, 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 warning. So, Ghost Dog, my estimated time of arrival is, um, thirteen oh six Zulu. Takeoff was? Uh, fuck knows. Is the current time I'm reading? Oh, actually, no. What the fuck time is this shit? My Zulu time says it's twelve eighteen, but I don't know what local time is. I think it was nineteen something. Did you say? I took off at nineteen. Nineteen. Well, it says system time here nineteen twenty eight. Well, when I started rolling, I started a timer anyway. So, if I just rewind the time, uh, you know. Figure it out. Okay. Okay, I'm having a look at your stream here. Quite laggy. Well, I don't know if that's because I'm uh, streaming too. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little laggy. Some of that is just the fact that I'm struggling to get up to 30 frames per second with this ridiculous model and the weather being so cruddy. And I'm glorious 60 FPS.
Once I get up through the clouds though, I should be a little bit clearer. Ah, the 777 sounds so relaxing when it's in cruise. Just the gentle humming in the background. So am I right in, um, is this the middle of the night for you? It's 19.30 hours local time and right now it's uh, 5 to 10ish local time in, in terms of real life for me. Uh, okay let me just change the time, so what was the local time? Local time is 19.30 and 23 seconds in county. 19.30 yeah, That's what I had said already, I'll just, uh, well I'll set it to 31, just so it's the same. Okay. Yeah, okay. Which is 11.31 Zulu. Or GMT, whatever you want to call it. That's scary because it's currently like 5 to 10, so we're pretty much with two reasonable standards flying this real thing. What's what? It's kind of weird because it's it's 5, to, I've got it as 5 to 10 on my watch right now. Yeah, mine's is, well, four to ten, uh, six to ten for me. Yeah, so it's, we're not actually that far from real time, almost. No. Well, no, because it's eleven thirty-one, not um, twenty-one. Well, there's a nasty uh, headwind at this altitude. Two seven three knots. Uh, sorry, two seven three degrees at eighty two knots. Mmm. Wow. I wouldn't have anything like that to deal with, sadly. No, probably not. Like I say, I'm I'm downloading real world weather, so it's um, you know, as it is in real life. I'm not sufficiently blessed that way. I still can't see South Korea yet. <laughs> Are you there yet? Nope. I'm um, well, clouds, you where so. I am. I'm currently coming up on Samdo, which is 50 miles to my front. I'm just following the flight plan, which means I don't really have a contextual idea as to where the heck I am. No, well, if it helps, I'm about, uh, let's figure it out, about 140 miles away from the turn north. I'm 230, so I've still got a way to go yet. Yeah. How fast are you going? I'm um, 382 knots. That's com that's, com that's Well, I don't care about knots, tell me, Mark. Uh, Mark. Point seven four. That's exactly the same as me. <laughs> you have now entered the So yeah, zone. you are not going to win this. <laughs> I'm fifteen thousand feet in climbing though, so let's see where I end up at thirty thousand. Yeah, we'll see. It still doesn't matter worth a damn if you can't, if you can't land it. What? Well, if I can't land it, I'm sure I will be able to. I was meaning if I can't land it. I'm no doubt about your oh, ability you can't to land, land the 777. Well, if one of us makes it, then that's a win for the team. <laughs> it's like, if, oh if, shit, I didn't take screenshots actually. Um, hmm. Uh, it's okay. I mean, we're talking on the Twitch stream, so if there's part of that for evidence for you there. Yeah, Twitch you also records text. it automatically for me, so... Eh. Oh, I'll upload this whole thing to YouTube for people who want it. 
going to be the most boring video ever, and I will give everyone fair warning before they start watching it, but... I think it's just hilarious, you know, it's like, I can't believe you get up here with Donald Trump and Riley. It's like, hey, uh, we're on it at hand we should fine. totally yeah. do a logic one, <laughs> Um... And then I was, yeah, we were like, hey, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, it's still fine. It would be it's more fine. realistic if um, if I had the 747, but the uh, the same people that made this 777 are making a new version of their 777, uh, sorry, their 747, which means uh, it's not available yet. So I would have picked that, but the closest thing is this 777, so... Well. Eh, don't worry about it. You're carrying the... Uh, I don't know what you're carrying if you're in a 777. I'm carrying a C-17. What, what does the military use of triple seven? Replacement for? pilots. <laughs> <laughs> more pilots, we need more pilots. And munitions. More pilots and sidearms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get the why I get all the problems as well, like, because uh the uh, old pilot completely loses its shit if I try to turn it on. Whereas I'm using LNAV and VNAV and it's just perfect, all the way. So I'm having to hand fly this thing, all the way. Oh god. I would say I'd feel sorry for you, but then it's your fault for picking a plane that actually doesn't have working autopilot. To be fair, I didn't really pick it. Everyone said you need to fly the C-17 because that's going to carry our car course. I was like, well, okay, fine. Shit. It was that or several runs at Mach 0.5 in a C-130. <laughs> Let me think about that. I've um, I've got uh, a lot of external views I can look at, so I can look at like you know over the wing view and behind the wing and vision view and all kinds of stuff. So I'm not just sat here like an idiot like you are. The things I do for this community. Oh yes, look at this glorious wing view. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Andy, have you seen the, freight, the, the model that I have to fly in? I can count the polygons on the engine. Rip through again. I can count the polygons on the engines. Okay, I'm gonna load up the old time on. Yeah, throw out your phone or something like that. Oh, oh yes, I can count the polygons. <laughs> I can count the polygons on the engine that sells. You know you have a problem when your poly count is that low. On your Twitch stream, can you uh, open links and stuff on your phone or something? What do you mean? Like, uh, if I posted a link of a screenshot that I just took, would you be able to see it? Or would you have to alt-tab out of it? Uh, I could, uh, if, if it's a short one, like Imgur or something like that, I can type it in myself. Uh, okay, well I'll do that, hang on. I shall just take a suitable screenshot. I'm not alt-tabbing out of uh, DMS now, not even if it's so I just... That's, that's where I am with that. Oh, sorry, say that again? It's like, uh, I was just saying, like, I would send you screenshots for your, or I'd look at your um, one, but I am not all tabbing out of BMS. No way. No. Where is my screenshots thing on Steam? I can't find it. It's just not there anymore. Oh, there we go. Mac 0.81 at 30,000 feet. Ooh. This is going to be one of those Top Gear-esque, how close to the wire can we get? Things, yeah. Isn't it? See if the flight model actually lets me go supersonic in a C-17. I will lull so hard. I 
gonna just stick that picture that I just took on him. Uh, hang on. There you go, he's in the chat right now. Oh yes! Thank goodness for the uh, iOS browser. I can just literally open this up picture and say picture. Oh, okay. You see it? Yeah, and that's really pretty. I'm waiting until you see it. Yeah, the cockpit is prettier. The lighting's just... Beautiful. Oh god, I shouldn't watch two streams at once, now I'm getting FPS lag. Okay, <laughs> I've just paused yours. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. To be honest, you're not missing anything anyway. I've got a nice-ish sunrise out to my 2 o'clock. It's, it's not... It's not FSX. It never was good. Oh, Jesus, Mark, 0.86 and a C17. How is this even possible? I'm going to be in my north steer point in 20 minutes and falling. I don't know how much that matters as a reference point. Yeah, Webs, well, you can thank the, uh... You can thank the, uh... Webs just wrote on TeamSpeak there. Webs, it's like 0.86 and season 10 is definitely not possible. It's like, yeah, well, you can thank the flight model. Or lack thereof. I've got a new uh, screenshot for you there in your Twitch chat. Seen it. Looking at it now. That is my glorious this cockpit. Oh. That does look really, really nice. Should you have all those lights on, or should you not be switching to red for uh, nighttime? Well, I've got them dimmed down. You're not going to have like your dome lights on or anything like that, but you can have this on it. As long as you don't blind yourself and ruin your night references. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ah oh, man, it's a shame you can't do, but you can't simulate para drops. Why would you want to para drop? Because it'd be hilarious. Just drop some, just drop crates of supplies right across the uh, the good sand runway. <laughs> just <laughs> well, I'm um, I'm 71 miles from um, the turn north now. Which is Charlie Julia uh, uniform. Uh, which is coincidentally my top of descent as, as well. Oh wow, that's nice. <laughs> well, I'm at the top now. I'm at 31,000 feet and somewhat steady because this. Uh, the uh, every time I put on the autopilot, thing pitches wildly up 20 degrees, and I'll stall it in the sky. But that way, let that happen. So that ain't happening. The what? Um, I don't suppose you know it or remember even what the landing runway at Kunsan was. Uh, it was runway I'll, 36. I'll it was 36 we were on mission wise, so I don't expect that to change. So for us, it's a straight in approach. RJFF, I'm just going to look up the wind 1402 knots, so it doesn't really matter either way, so yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think it, my nav is probably out of date because I'm seeing 3 4. I guess it's probably changed. Oh, maybe flight. Uh, Falcon's wrong, how do we? Well, it's possible that Falcon's wrong. Um, the other possibility, I, I don't think that's the case, but we might actually be landing on the longer alternate one strip. You know how there's one that's crossed from the other? Yeah. That can't be runway 3 4, that would have to be like 0 3 or something like that. I'm actually seriously tempted to make the landing on that one, because I don't actually, I'm not entirely confident I can stop the C 17 with BMF and weak modelling of brakes on that runway 3 6. Oh wait, hang on. I fucked this up. Where are you are you going and are you going to somewhere else? Yeah, I have fucked it up. You're I not did, yeah, why is it You're not going on. to Kunsan, you're going to that other one. I can't remember, there's there's another one that it, What's the ICO Kunsan again? RKJK. Okay, fixed it. Yeah, I don't know, that's weird. Weird shit. 
There's one beginning with K that the flight plan Three takes six, you across. 3-6, okay. Right, fixed it. Wait, this is going to piss you off even more. I'm at Mark 0.87. Well, and here I am doing it realistically. <laughs> I'm doing it with realistically within the limits of the MS. I can't even see my wings, webs. All right. Uh, the BMS model shows me the F-16. Okay, so I'm looking at F-16 wings that are not budging smoke trails that come about 10 feet off the right and left wing respectively for the, the for engine 1 and 4 respectively. Think like a think you were like you were flying an F-16 with a million pounds worth of bricks attached to the back end of it. That's really what it feels like to fly. This is not going to be a realistic flight model. I can totally down to do that. Whereas my triple seven is actually based on real world um, Boeing data because it was part they were partnered with Boeing when they made this thing, so it's pretty much the real thing. Yeah, if you want realism, go to Andy's channel. If you just want the craziest, stupidest idea ever come here. <laughs> It's really weird too because I can't tell what's broken and what's not. For example, I'm not getting an RWR to power on, but I do have chaffs and flares. I've only got a right hand MFT, so I'm guessing that the game model will let me have one MFT. I really like looking over these wing views though, because you don't have any of this, do you, Ghost Dog? It's funny because if you turn your head, you can look inside the cabin as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, just a sec. Where well, does uh, want to be seated? First class, perhaps? Here you go, here's your view from first class. <laughs> you've, well, you've got this whole place to yourself. No one about. I mean, it's not perfect because there's a bit of graphical issues, but it's still cool that you can look inside.
How long have you got left, Ghost Dog? Oh, he said it was AFK. I remember. Well, I can tell you right now what I have. 1220 Zulu, so... 30 minutes, half an hour. And back in the pit. How far have you got left to go? I've got 30 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes to my north turn. I'm 3 minutes from my north turn. You shouldn't be able to go that fast, that's just stupid. Hey, you accepted the race. Well, if, you, if you're going to be doing that shit, I'm going to speed up to my full speed as well, I guess. What you Mac number did you get? 0.86 I'm at. Ace. Oh no, no way I can do that. I can do 0.8. Oh, but then I'm going to have problems slowing down, so I better not let me not do it. Yeah, I still have to do that. I'm at 32,000 feet, so... And here's a lovely view of scum class. <laughs> oh no, maybe it's e economy uh, plus, I guess, but... Eh. <laughs> User oh, I can see the island now, just uh, in the midst of the clouds. I can't remember what it was called. I can barely see anything through these clouds. For me to see anything, I'll have to descend. Right now, I'm just at this point where I'm just hoping that I've done the mission plan properly and that I drop out this, I drop out the, uh, <laughs> drop out the clouds above Kadeem. Sixty miles from my turn. Now I'm turning not off. You're kidding me, my BMS just crashed. Really? <laughs> really? Ah, oh. oh, fuck. Well, I don't worry, I got the spare MRAMs on board. <sighs> so annoying. You might win this race anyway. This is. This is what happens when you overspeed aircraft, and take this as a lesson. Too fast for BMS. I mean, Webbs, uh, points should be awarded on uh, realistic flying procedures, shouldn't they? <laughs> You'll get all the points, don't worry, man. For starters, you're going to get there first now.
You're welcome to watch my stream. <laughs> or you could add it, you could be really cheeky, or, I guess, and like uh, load BMS up, fast forward to where you roughly were, and then join in again. Oof. Oof. Do you feel lucky, punk? I don't know, like, I don't know if I trust BMS to do that. I'll make no mistake, I'm doing this fight. I don't know if you. Yeah, well, if Vinav doesn't want me to descend, then that's fine. And Webs, I don't know if you noticed, but I was forced to cheat from a very early start because the uh, runway at Kadena has been bombed in my one, so I had to take off on the taxiway. Another point deducted for realism. Well, if we're going for realism, then the Amrams don't get anywhere until Kadena Air Force Base gets it fixed. <laughs> and Webs actually says that actually could happen. Whether or not you could do it safely or not is another matter. Well, Webbs also says that the C-17 can operate on unprepared surfaces. Hmm. It's totally part of their operations, he says. It happens all the time. Webbs, start talking. Stop texting. <laughs> All right, then, Webs, give me a speed limit that's sensible. Point seventy seven. Right, I'll try and stick to that then. Angel one one. I mean, I'm at point seven seven zero right now. Angel one one. Taxi runway zero one. Oh Jesus. I can see South Korea, I think. Yeah, this must be South Korea. Awesome. So are you giving up or are you loading back up and fast forwarding? I'm loading back up and getting ready to take off. Don't take off again. Oh, you've already You're already won. halfway there, just fast forward and then join in. Nah. You've already nah, won on that one. This is now just for fun and for personal pride now. Personal pride? So I will finish this because I said I would. Okay.
Angel. 1-1. One, one. It ain't approach. You're cleared for takeoff. Runway 0-1. Here's the view of Korea coming into descent. Very nice. So even the backup runway had a crater. That's amazing. What's up? Oh, I forgot the crater. The runways were cratered. It turns out both of them were. Yeah, this kind of stuff happens when you look away from the cockpit and not paying attention like you should be. Uh, Veen, I've decided to almost overspeed my plane, so I had to bring out the speed brake all the way. I do have it selected, I've got VNAV uh, controlling the speed. So why did it, how did it not catch it? Or did it... I don't know, it's probably because I was uh, not paying attention or some shit, I don't know. Angel 1-1, one, one. Um, ready for departure! It's set. Angel 1-1, one, one. taxi, runway zero one. one. Yeah, it goes blank when you um, have VNAV selected, and then the VNAV button lights up. So VNAV controls obviously your your throttle speed um, and uh, pitch. It just doesn't hmm, see it. But that is slightly weird. I'm going to manually control it because it's acting up. Um, probably not to be honest because I didn't spend much time doing it.
one to gain approach. Resume all navigation. God, I hate the land. I hate taking off from the runway in the C-17. You always, almost completely run out of space. Actually, no, you are correct because it should rid here V nav throttle. And now it's set to hold, so yeah. Hmm. Weird, I'll just manually do it. Yeah. I mean, usually in the Boeing aircraft, you pre there's um, a function where it's a speed intervention, and then you can manually adjust the VNAV speed. But uh, it's a bit weird on the triple seven. BMS just really is not liking it. Right, I've rerun. I've I've just paused and restarted the stream. <laughs> God damn! I've probably done this run about twice over by this time. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, it's a pretty unsettling experience. For example, you think, oh my god, all things are all, all the broken things. Uh, no RWR, no left MFD. Uh, what else isn't breaking? Uh, yeah, this this panel here for your RWR is not working either. I have chaff and flare, but I can't deploy them. CMS forward doesn't work. I'm guessing C17 has a chaps layer switch instead. Uh, what else is not right? Yeah, if I'd run the autopilot, uh, bad things happen. So I'm not going to touch that. And then, and you have possibly the worst flight model ever, coupled with almost the worst 3D model ever, compared to the rest of the game. Maximum enjoyment. But hey, the squadron needs its hand rounds. Yeah, Andy, you should try and find like a decent model C17 or something like that, some sort of logi bird. You should, mm. you can totally make a habit of this every every couple of missions. Do a logi run for us. I mean, like I said, the, the, the one aircraft that I'm looking forward to is the, uh, the same people that made the 777, the PMTG. They're making a 747 as well, with also a cargo version, so that's going to be quite good. That could be a good start. Shame there's not a lot of decent military aircraft to do that, though, eh? Yeah.
Mr. Webbs, are you still about? Yeah, I'm here. I'm getting ready to peace out. What's up? I was just wondering what planes it is you tend to fly. Oh, are you talking about in real life? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm on a KC-135. Oh, okay. And then I fly the uh, Challenger 605 for the uh, company. Oh, so you're in like the reserves? Yeah, yeah, I'm a guard guy. Okay. So you're like Air Force you first, go. then reserves, then doing it privately, or are you, is it just kind of one of those things that kind of doing your spare time more than else? No, well, I started out in in the Air Force like full time. That's all I did. Did that for about seven years, and then I um, switched out of uh, doing that to being just like a part timer in the uh, Air National Guard. Yep. Same thing as the reserves, um, and started flying corporate. Okay. Yeah, so now I fly a biz jet for the day job. So is that just transfer mm, that transporting Mr. CEO? Uh, or? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, say it again. So is, what do you transport there? Is it more goods and logistics still? Or is it, uh, like, do you just trans transport people now? Well, on the civilian side, it's all, like, executive lift, though, like you're saying. Like, yeah. CEOs and stuff like that, but on the Air Force side, obviously, it's cargo people and gas. Yeah, of course. Sorry, Andy, you were saying? Um, yeah, I can't post pictures in thread, apparently, so I'll just attach it as a file, I suppose. That'll work, on it? Yeah, you can embed links through MGUR, something like that, something like that as well, that works. And then I'll reply with my video link and uh, all that good stuff. I'll post the I'll post the stream raw, but then I'll also edit it up so that it looks something like one flight done at once.
Hey Andy, can you maybe remember your system timer when it uh, when you landed? Like, what is the, what, did, what was the local time clock saying? Uh, I don't, I don't know actually. Hang on. Because you'll have your takeoff time and your I landing time. I don't know how time. I can find that out. I suppose I could get it on shadow play two seconds. Yeah, because that's going to be just as good as a timer. Because I've got my takeoff time as 1928. It's currently 2000 on the system on the sim timer. So I'm very I'm less than 30 minutes into it. Uh, and I'm a couple of minutes from making my northbound turn. Okay, post made in the thread. But now every uh, uh, my whole internet is lagging like fuck and I die. Oh, it doesn't have to be done like now. I was just thinking that'd be another good way of comparing the race time. No, fortunately my uh, shadow plate didn't capture the last uh, we know when it landed, unfortunately. No big deal. I mean you can work it out from your you can work it out from your, your uh, mission duration. It might be on my stream recording actually, hang on. Mm, that would be handy. You can just look at the clock just before you shut the engine down or something, and that can be your your stop time. Fucking hell, I'm lagging like fuck. No surprise, man. You're, you're streaming and watching all the crazy things, so... I'm not streaming anymore. Oh shit. <laughs> Someone's stealing all your packets. And I don't think Twitch actually uh, recorded Did that for some dumb thing. Oh no. Well, you've got the screenshots, that's what matters. Someone is stealing in all my packets. Oh no, it did record it. I was just lagging like fuck and it, it didn't even show me. Oh wow. Hmm. Well, I can tell you this time that I took off and I can tell. Oh, I know because I, I edited it, didn't I? So it's fit to you like halfway through. Oh, 1228 Zulu, it, it doesn't read. 
read it in local time, it reads it in Zulu time. Well, that's fine, I mean, if your takeoff time is in Zulu, and, if your takeoff time is in Zulu and your landing time is in Zulu, then that's just as good. But you gotta remember, I just did my time halfway through that flight to um, oh, yeah. fit in with you. So that wouldn't be correct. But I, my timer is accurate. It was one hour and six minutes. Okay. Well, 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 I'll keep an eye on the system time. If you just bear in mind that my taxi takeoff time was 19.28. Do you want me to highlight the landing at Kuhnsan thing for you? If you, if you want, I don't mind. If you want to pick a few highlights out of your reel just to show off what your plane can really do, I think that's, that's cool. There you go, I'll put it in chat for you, the highlight. Thank you, I'll catch that later.
No, looking at that video actually is one hour three minutes when I touched down. Uh, okay. So you're gonna go from wheels wheels off the ground to wheels on the ground, is that what you're is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I suppose. Okay, fair enough. I'll have to go back and look at my exact takeoff time according to the DED. Then I'll just grab a screen grab from that moment. Because I'll have I'll have the DED right there in front of me. I think I'm roughly 40 minutes into my flight and I've still got another 5, maybe 10 minutes worth of flying to do, never mind my approach, so this is going to get real close to the wire for us. And I, I'm trying my very best to get as close to Mach 0.77 or so, you know, I'm trying not to exceed that. I, I'll admit I've broken through it once or twice, but I've made, as soon as I've noticed that I've made the effort to slow it back down. So there has been no intentional cheating on this front. Hey Webbs, are you still there or is he gone? I can't even scroll through my team speak anymore so I don't know. No, he's, he's in the channel but I guess he's not actually here. He did say he was going to be piecing out soon, so I imagine he's uh, AFK at the moment.
I'm gonna be a ghost. I'm gonna go get some food because I haven't actually eaten yet. So <laughs> you go do that. You go do your thing. I'm on. I'll be on uh, my final steer in about five or six minutes. You got time to fix yourself. Awesome. Angel, 1-1, one, one. inbound for landing. Angel, 1, you're out some mass, who's contacting 30 miles out? Angel, 1-1, one, one. inbound for landing. Angel, 1-1, one, one. descend to 4,000, maintain 280 knots, turn right heading 010. Altitude. Altitude. Angel, 1-1. One, one. Turn right heading, zero two zero. Bulldog, 1-1, one, one. from the sound tower, you're cleared for takeoff, runway 36. Angel, 1-1, one, one. descend to 4000, maintain 280 knots, turn left heading 005. Angel, 1-1, one, one. copy. Angel, 1, turn the sound approach, 3, 0, 4, 0. Angel, 1-1, one, one. turn left heading, 2-1-5. Bulldog, 1-2, turn the sound tower, you're cleared for takeoff, runway 36. Bulldog, 1-1, one, one. from the sound tower, resume all navigation. Bulldog, 1-3, from the sound tower, you're cleared for takeoff, runway 36. I return. 
um, taking ATC approach. Two, one, one. Or Maintain final. two eight zero knots. Turn left heading two zero zero. Bulldog one two. Gunnison Tower. Resume all navigation. Bring up your stream and have a little look. User disconnected from your channel. See you later, webs. Angel, 1-1, one, one. going to sound approach, traffic, 1 o'clock, 5 miles. Bulldog, 1-3, going to sound tower, resume all navigation. Angel, 1-1, one, one. going to sound approach, track now, 1 o'clock, 4 miles. Angel, 1-1, one, one. copy. Angel, 1-1, one, one. going to sound approach, traffic, 1 o'clock, 2 miles. Angel, 1-1, one, one. copy. Angel, 1-1, one, one. going to sound approach, traffic, 2 o'clock, 3 miles. Angel, 1-1, one, one. copy. Angel, 1-1, one, one. climb to 4,000, maintain 270 knots, turn left heading no, 185, vectors to right knots. Knots. runway 36. What's the vectors? Where are you getting... What are you getting vectors to? Concern. Yeah, but which runway? Uh, I'll be runway 36, so I think it's setting me up for an inbound approach. It's now asking for, for speed 270, so I guess it's going to take some speed off later. I thought it was ridiculously confused because it thinks that I'm a 60. Oh, there's a huge delay on the stream, so I'm like a minute behind. Angel, 1-1, one, one. descend to 3,000, maintain 260 knots, turn right heading 1-1, descend to 2,000, maintain 210 knots, turn right heading 275, vectors to final, runway 36. Angel, 1-1, one, one. maintain 280 knots, turn right heading 295. Are you on the final right now? Warning, 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 one, one. Turn warning, right warning, 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 like a minute behind. I'll probably be a good 30 seconds to a minute delay, uh, just because of the way my stream works. Angel, one one. Take it inbound for landing. From this point onwards, because I can see the site. I can see there. Making my way direct in. Yeah, your stream keeps like stopping and starting, and then suddenly whizzing by all the way. Angel, one one. Turn right. Final approach course three five five. Check approach speed. Yeah, I'll be the upload speed a bit. Angel, one one. Ready for departure.
Yeah. I'm still annoyed about that landing that I did though. The the problem that I had was um, rushing everything, not having a second pair of eyes to tell me, stop it you idiot, you're doing it wrong. But uh, yeah, that was like the worst landing I've ever done in the triple seven. I recovered it quite well at the end, but well, it was way too I don't low. think you can complain really. We've got the missiles there, so it's fine. Well, hopefully I'm bringing the missiles too. They also appear to have a little bit of a crosswind, which the C-17 is not liking. Now, I also had to hand by the entire approach, and the flight, and the takeoff, so... Different challenges, I guess. Angel 1-1, one, one, from the sound tower, clear for landing, runway 36, check here down. Did you make it down? Not sure. You're still on the landing, fine for me, but it's obviously lag. Oh, well, that's the weird thing, it looks doesn't look like I've landed, but apparently I have. Now the cockpit is slowly dropping down to the ground level of F-16. Made it. Wheels down 20, 29 at 9 seconds. So, rough elapsed time, 1 hour, 1 minute. One one, from the sound tower, taxi clear of the runway. Just looking for taxi bay foxtrot now.
I think I see these warehouses you're talking about. Yeah, that's interesting. Someone in our chat panel is saying that um, someone's bought the rights to the original Falcon 4.0. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, and you can no longer BMS legitimately download it. You can no longer legitimately download it. EMS had to pull the links while they figure out the legal stuff. And dear other viewer, hello, welcome to the stream. This is Polly Rose from the BMS Great for departure. We just flew an S a C seventeen from Kadena to Kunsan on behalf of the squad of our of our squadron at UAF so that we can get new supplies. Thanks to this, our admins will now mission engineer in some new AMRAMs for us. <laughs> Thanks and grow much greater part to Andy who <laughs> did it first on an F6 system. Goal one two, gonna sound tower. You're cleared for takeoff. Runway three six. Sound tower. Resume all navigation. Screenshot. Shot yeah, if the new if the new company was smart, they would buy BMS from Benchmark, is what he's saying, and then <laughs> not possible to keep BMS going and sell it to the public. But, not possible. Uh, no, it's not going to be possible because of the whole ethos of BMS and the Falcon modding community in the whole. Really, there's also a huge hole in that argument. BMS is a mod of the game. It's like saying if I modded, uh, oh hell, say if I say if we if if we decided to mod UAF. And then sell the mods uh, as the whole as the new game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it worked for DayZ, but imagine how many licensing issues that caused. I'm just catching up on the chat log now, so. Yeah, uh, Cheeto. So BMS will be available once the mods, the moderators and administrators of guys, and the guys who run BMS, basically get the OK from the company. Um, according to what I've read on the forums, the general gist of things is that they need to change uh, some of the stuff in the credits so that Atari don't own it anymore. It's now these guys. And um, 
that obviously needs to those changes need to be reflected. So a lot of it is legalese. Uh, that means that at the moment, though, because it's under a copyright dispute as to who owns it, BMS isn't allowed to distribute an unauthorized modification of an unauthorized game. Fun. Um, next question. Uh, if the new company was smart, they would buy BMS from Benchmark. Benchmark doesn't own the rights, they don't have the, the right to sell it, they never did. Or hire them to keep BMS going and sell BMS to the public. I don't think BMS would want to be hired by these guys. They would rather keep things, that, things themselves, then they'd still have control over the product. Alka 4 won't make money unless it has BMS. Yes, 100%. Um, whether they bought Falcon 4 so that they could you make make sure BMS had to, went through this, possible. But it's important to note that they also bought many of the other Falcon series games. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think they bought this and picked it up out of the random. To be honest, I think it's just a a benefit rather than anything else. But hey, that's my stream over for the now, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Catch you soon.